Hope you're liking Covenant, stranger. I can't really say. I'm glad that's over with. One more tomorrow, courtesy. I'm not leaving here in one piece. surviving out there, and best of luck to all involved in the future. It's another day here in Diamond City, and that means it's easy living. Sweet. I'll just take this.
There's a good dog. Hey, boy. Yes. Hey, head over there. No robot is superior to me. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my 
Family, again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. What kind of robot are you? I am heavily modified, but at my core, I am an Assaultron. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. Well, you certainly paid that price. Your apathy only increases my feelings of responsibility. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. I ask your assistance in stopping this mechanist. A dangerous mind should not control such power. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the mechanist both protects the Commonwealth and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the Mechanist is stopped. Another time. Perhaps there's a place I may be of use until you return. I'm familiar with the settlement. Hopefully, I may be of some use there. into some hostile robots today. They were pieced together, like the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is, one of them was spouting something about the Mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah, protected my ass. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Shades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even be on my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection.
attention, people of the Commonwealth. I, the Mechanist, have come to bring about an age of peace. Do not be alarmed. These robots are your allies, your protectors, and they will not rest until the Commonwealth is saved. Together, we will restore justice and bring about the dawn of a new age. What have you been up to? Uh-oh. This can't be good. Get him. Suits me fine. Sweet. Area secure. Unidentified intruders detected. Beginning search. You can't stop me. And who gets to Hostile kill? target identified. It's done. You run, you yeah. How about something a little more challenging next time? You can't stop me. Bingo.
Won't be able to pick this. Hey, buddy. Hey. Over here. Move here. Want some more? Huzzah! Glad that's over. Nice. Riddance, you mangy thing. Identified intruder detected. Beginning search. Scanning for hostiles. Area secure. You staying out of trouble? Approach and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens will not be harmed. Thank <laughs> you. 
and the new girl patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. She said she wouldn't risk her life for the cause. Hello, words. I'm actions, and I'm speaking awfully loud. Point taken. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I... I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Not very many of us live to retirement. But if you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need righting. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Hmm, let me think. It's a big decision. Take your time. I don't want a code name. Code names aren't optional. All agents need to keep their identities secret to protect themselves and those close to them. Call me... Fixer. Fixer certainly seems an apt name. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded secrets, so be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Listen up, everyone. This is Fixer. She did the switchboard op with Deacon. She's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show her the ropes. Feel free to welcome her aboard. That is all. Desdemona. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. I'm under no illusion that this will be easy. Desdemona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second-in-command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. What? You don't think I can handle a dangerous job? The danger doesn't concern me. Your work at the switchboard proves you can deal with that. I just hope the mission doesn't require knowledge about synths in our procedures. Something you've had scant opportunity to learn. You guys recruited me. I don't need your attitude. Charming. I'm sure you and Glory will be fast friends. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. What's a dead drop? Oh dear lord. A dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. 
You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Glory. Hey, you. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Mines and shit, too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? Pretty much. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. With a whole lot of bullets and a whole lot of blood. Fortunately, the blood wasn't mine. That's how you do it. Well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. Who's Tommy Whispers? Tommy was a second heavy at HQ. He went KIA after the Institute assholes took out the switchboard. With him gone, I've been running missions nonstop. So I'm damn happy you're here. They call me Glory, the Angel of Death, the ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. You really are a synth, right? You weren't pulling my leg before. That's what the maid in the Institute stamp on my ass says. I have a lot of questions about synths, about the Institute. Would you be willing to answer a few? If I have to. I know a whole lot less than you think. Mainly, I did surface detail. Combing over ruins and shit for salvage. The few times I was in the Institute proper, all I was to them was their thinking, feeling, hammer. What's the Institute like? Clean. Lots of metal and machines. But I really only saw a few rooms of it. The barracks and where I worked. I helped those assholes make more synths. Synth development is what they called it. How do they make synths? Damn if I know. The machines are massive, complicated. Not like anything I've seen out here. No matter what Des and others say, synths ain't human. We're assembled bone by bone, muscle by muscle. I've seen it. I'm gonna hit the range. I need to shoot something now. Perfect. That is one of my favorites. I think I'll hold on to it. Working with compartmentalized information is a difficult transition for new agents. <laughs> Ticker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. I wouldn't know about that. We got a lot of synths in play right now. It makes things really dangerous. Yeah, pretty much. Hi. Hey, buddy. Toll here's 250 caps. Come on. Do I look like I can afford that? 200. Be reasonable. Mm. 150. 
Last chance. Give me a fair deal, and no one gets hurt. Pay up, or you're the one who's gonna get hurt. Not a chance. It's your funeral. Let's do it. Update. Observed unusual activity has ceased. Window is open for a heavy to make contact, but they should act now. The package is still in my possession. It cannot remain here safely for much longer. Out. Caravan or Raider? What? I said Caravan or Raider. Which are you? I really don't understand what you're asking. Seriously? This is Bunker Hill. All the caravans in the Commonwealth come through here, and every Raider outfit in the area gets protection money to keep their paws off the market and our homes. So there's only two types of people coming through here. Caravans and Raiders. Which are you? Raider. All right, the market's open if you need it. Just remember, the protection we pay your bosses is worth three times your life. Leave people alone. I'm half tempted to join the railroad with all this shit. I don't know. People gotta do something, Dad. When did you start to care about sense? It's not that. The railroad is the only one standing up to the Institute. So Gary's wife, kidnapped. That settlement Lucas Miller was talking about, wiped out. Hey, you. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. It's always good to help people. I have no problem helping people. Sense, though? All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rock gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. Synths are weapons built by the Institute. You don't know that. You see, boy? Now stop this nonsense. We got customers. Hey there. Don't be shy. You don't order fast. We won't have much booze left. You, uh... You own this place? Technically, everything is owned by all the caravan companies that come through here. We pull the money together and split it up. But, as far as serving drinks goes, this bar is all mine. Which caravans come through here? Pretty much all of them. All the ones I know about, anyway. Takes a certain kind of person to brave the Commonwealth trade routes. Don't know what started first. The Bunker Hill Settlement or the Caravans. But they're practically one and the same nowadays. Either way, folks need drinks, so I opened up this bar here. Lots of alcohol on tap for you. What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Honestly? Kind of amazed we've lasted this long. We're always one broken deal away from complete disaster. But something keeps this place in one piece. 
Maybe the old spirits are looking out for us, huh? Hey, let's get some liquor in you before you start asking about God knows what next. Not interested. Bars for paying customers. Excuse me. Need a roof over your head? Only place in town. This... some kind of motel? I prefer the term flop house. But don't tell my pa that. Gets him mad. When caravans pull into town, they need a place to sleep. So we ran out all the beds we can. So did you want one? How many caravans come through here? All of them. They kind of own the whole town, but money still has to change hands, so they know which caravan owes what. Bunker Hill is one big money-makes-the-world-go-round kind of place. Raider problem? Pay him off. Supply problem? Buy more. Charge more. Hey, weren't we talking about you renting a room? You need one? So Bunker Hill just buys its way out of problems? It's all they know. Caravan folk are money folk. And all the people who settled here retired from the caravans. Now that doesn't mean a Bunker Hill boy doesn't know how to sling a gun. But why waste the bullets if you can buy your way out of trouble for less? Hey, did you want that room or not? Fine. Here's your caps. Stockton snores. You've been warned.